Hi everyone, welcome back to the second part of the one-way ANOVA example. Uh, to recap, uh, we had five labs, uh, each were performing a flammability test and wanted to see whether the results, the uh, mean results across the labs were the same. Uh, we found that there was a difference. Um, and now I'm going to show you um, a regression um, equivalent of what we have just done. Um, now we have five labs. We could represent them in this first equation or the second equation. Now let's talk about each. Now the dependent variable is length and we have five labs. Now each of the labs here, uh, lab 2 here, rep is a what we call a dummy variable or indicator variable. It uh, takes the value 1 if the measurement comes from lab 2 uh, zero otherwise. So in other words, uh, these uh, variables here, lab 2, lab 3, lab 4, lab 5, uh, just tell you uh, from which lab the data came from. Notice there is no lab 1. It's because of this fact. Um, if we, in general, if we have k groups, uh, you can set up a regression with k minus 1 dummies and include an intercept in the model. So we have five groups, we have one intercept and we have set up four dummies for lab two, three, four, five. Now lab one has been omitted. Uh, the consequence of this is that lab one is what is called the reference category. Uh, these coefficients here, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4, beta 5, uh, these um, represent these numbers um, tell us uh, how much uh, or the difference between the mean length of lab 2 to lab 1 the reference category so beta 2 here is uh, how much more or less uh, the average length is for lab 2 compared to lab 1 likewise for 3, 4, 5. Now the second way to do it is we could include all the groups. In this case we have five groups, we can include all five groups. Uh, but in this case we must drop the intercept. So here the second equation is what I've just done here. Intercept has been dropped and now we have the five dummies corresponding to the five uh, labs. Now why do we have to do this? Well if we don't do this we will fall into uh, the perfect multicollinearity problem. Um, basically it means that if you try to run uh, this model for example with uh, lab 1 as well um, R will just uh, not be able to perform an estimation. So just know the rule that if we have K groups either use K minus 1 dummies and uh, include an intercept or drop the intercept and include all uh, dummies for each of the groups. Now here's the output um, for the regression including an intercept. Notice what I said, this is like my beta two here, 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.264. Uh, this, the interpretation of this coefficient, this coefficient on lab 2, is that uh, the mean length of lab 2 of, uh, is 0.26 higher compared to lab 1. Um, and for lab 3, lab 3, the mean length of lab 3 is 0.04 approximately lower compared to lab 1. Uh, if we look back at the annual results, let's look at this uh, lab 2. Uh, difference between lab 2 and lab 1 then is 0.264 from this um, regression output. Now let's go back to the uh, this um, ANOVA output that we had looked at previously. Look, uh, this uh, that number matches this. Lab 2, lab 1, the mean difference is that. So it's the same as the coefficient in the regression. What's the interpretation of the int 333? Well that must be when all these dummies are set to 0, i.e. you're not in lab 2, lab 3, lab 4 or lab 5, hence the intercept here must correspond to the mean length in lab 1. 
So that's uh, plain and simple. Now let's run the second model where we include all five dummies, but um, remove the uh, intercept. Okay, so there you go. Have a look at it. What we can see here now, uh, the intercept has gone. Um, this is a regression output. In, uh, the intercept has gone, and these are the dummies, and these are the coefficients, estimated coefficients on those dummies. Uh, now the mean, these then denote the mean length. Have a think. They denote the mean length of each lab. So the mean length from lab one is 3.34. Uh, look at the previous model. Yes, it matches, doesn't it? The intercept that was mean length for uh, lab one. We had said, and these are the. Likewise, the mean length of each of the respective labs. Look at the t statistics, all significantly different from zero, i.e., uh, the mean length statistically different from zero. Now, have a think about this. Uh, isn't there a relationship here between the coefficients of uh, our second model and of our first model? Well, have a think. Let's look back at this. So this first model, second model. Now there is a relationship between these betas and our deltas because look, you can see, for example, that the the beta two here is actually the difference of uh, delta two and delta one, i.e., the difference of a means of lab two and lab one, because that is what this is. Um, so go and verify that in the R output. And you can see that uh, in general, then it's actually the beta the p coefficient of beta uh, will be the same as the difference of the delta delta p from delta one. So that's a nice result. So I think we are all done now for this uh, example of one-way ANOVA. And uh, right, it's off to have my tea. Thank you.